Yo, what's going on guys? Arix here and today I want to talk some more about a game called Little Devil Inside. I have spoken about this on the channel before, it is a game that I am looking forward to and uh, recently, about a week ago, there was an interview with GameSpot and they basically spoke to some of the team talking about their sort of design ethos and some of the ideas that went behind sort of their uh, gameplay decisions so to speak. So I thought today I'd update you on that because it's been a little while since we last spoke about that. In fact this was first revealed quite a while ago, Little Devil Inside, for those of you guys that don't know about it, is an action adventure RPG being developed by Neostream Interactive. The game has you gear up and prepare before setting out and exploring the world, going on research expeditions, finding new locations and creatures. The game is much more focused on, say, the journey than it is the destination, with plenty of travel as well as events that occur as you do so being one of the main features of the game. So while some people have drawn some parallels to Monster Hunter-esque you know, elements of preparation, realistically this is much more targeted towards uh, the adventures out there. And this was something that was supposedly at least thought to be releasing this year, July 2021, because at CES, PlayStation 5 had a presentation and they had a little sort of end slate at the end of this with some small text which highlighted some of the games coming out this year. And Little Devil Inside was listed as a uh, July 2021 release. It is however worth noting that has since been updated and Little Devil Inside has been removed from that. So whether that means the date has been pushed out, whether it means they've uh, you know repurposed that and whatnot remains to be seen. But currently, if we're going based on the most up-to-date version of this image, then uh, we don't actually have a date for this just yet. Anyway, let's talk about the new stuff. If you guys do enjoy this, like would be super appreciated. If you guys have been looking forward to this game, let me know down below. Let me know if it is on your radar. But uh, yeah, let's get started. So there was a recent interview where Neostream spoke a bit more about the design philosophy behind Little Devil Inside. The world of the game, while spanning muddy swamps, vast deserts, murky ocean depths and icy tundras, is not actually as large compared to many sort of AAA games according to the uh, creative director Cody Lee. They then went on to say that uh, they didn't actually set out to make a game with sort of an epic scope, instead they were opting for a much more compact experience but they wanted to give you plenty of variety in sort of setting in order to sort of let the player's imaginations run wild. John Choi, Neostream's business development director, then went on to say what they actually wanted to do was to kind of recreate the nostalgia of buying a game at your local game shop where the only thing you had to go on was the box art. I'm not gonna lie, I do kind of miss that. I was speaking to my friends the other day kind of reminiscing about this. It was kind of cool back in the day where like you literally walk into a game shop and you would just look at whatever was cool. That's what got me into Monster Hunter. I literally just picked it up because it had effectively a giant T-Rex on the front and I was like, yo, this looks kind of cool. So I do kind of miss that. Obviously, you know, we're now in the day and age where we need to sort of know about games inside and out before we even decide to buy them. But back in the day, that was kind of cool. Anyway, the point is, he said that back in the day, the cover art often just had characters and the world at a glance, but somehow encouraged the players to picture the game in their imaginations. In order to achieve this kind of nostalgia, they said they embraced minimalism as their main design concept, stating that the game isn't just about killing, you know, arc demons and saving the world, but that it is about telling stories about people with unusual jobs, such as monster hunting, depicting what happens in their day to day life while doing so. In game, you take on the role of Billy, a half decent swordsman contracted to take on expeditions as part of Professor Vincent and Dr. Oliver's research team. Your main goal is actually to aid in creating an encyclopedia of all the creatures and beings you find along the way, often stumbling across influential figures and various organisational bodies with discreet and secretive interests. Although the game combines action, exploration, survival and RPG elements, they are all toned down as to kind of not get in the way of the overall progression. On survival mechanics specifically, Neostream said that they don't intend to make, you know, survival gameplay that becomes a repetitive chore. They also stated that they don't intend to go too far with the RPG features to be compared with, say, other hardcore grinding hack and slash RPG games. They instead really want to express more with less and leave some room for the players to fill it in for themselves. They then reiterated that the game is about the journey, more so than working towards an ultimate goal, such as a you know, powerful sword or the ultimate gem. The UI is kept as minimalistic and clean as possible, Neostream instead opting to use sound and character design to convey incoming dangers or survival needs. Fast travel is also not an option, instead you have a train that travels between the different regions of the map, with curious and deadly events having a chance to take place while you do so. Which honestly, to me, sounds really cool, definitely sounds quite different, and you know, we are very used to as gamers kind of working towards typical goals, typical sort of destinations and like end game activities, but sometimes just exploring cool open worlds, and I do love the visual style for this 
this game. It's one of the things that drew me to it. It kind of reminds me almost of like, I don't know, Oddman style animation or that sort of, a, you know, kind of cell shaded exploration feel. But the point is having that as, a, you know, the, the sort of prime driver for the game, just the fact that you want to explore and just sort of see what happens along the way. It's part of what I enjoyed so much about Breath of the Wild because there were just so many different things that happened as I was roaming the world. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to sort of see how this plays out. Hopefully it ends up being, you know, interesting. Hopefully it's not one of those ones that end up just being super barren and that's their sort of fancy way of saying we're not putting much in the game um, but please have some fun with it. I'm hoping it's more that they actually have made a pretty cool journey but uh, I guess only time will tell. Either way that's what the interview had to say for the time being. That is what we currently have on the game and uh, as and when we find out more I'll let you guys know. If you want to catch more from us at Arix Gaming, don't forget you can catch the guys 269 Paradise Central and Vestmore streaming over on Twitch weekdays, playing a variety of games. If you guys want to jump in, tune in, watch, and even join in, then make sure you check them out. The links to those are in the description box down below. And of course, you can join the Discord to get involved in all of the discussions.